Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Everyone fine? First of all, uh, to thank you, all of you, for having been holding with the energy and from many levels by by staying uh, all the time present. So um, yesterday was a bit hard, um, heavy, and um, uh, and I I'm not still really uh, well. Um, in my hundred percent, I'm really tired for of what happened yesterday. I'm not gonna be able to to speak much today uh, about anything, <laughs> but I didn't want to, to to let this day pass uh, and meet you every, as every day. Sorry for those who are new in this and suddenly you got like the weirdest experience yesterday. And maybe you are used to to listen to me explaining things and uh, suddenly I was channeling uh, in this meeting and of course it was in another languages because it was not information for to share so basically the meeting yesterday was a meeting regarding everything that we are doing everything that we have to do still and um, and the different point of view of different beings that we're trying to share their ideas. For some of them, we are in this moment to make a great leap to our uh, evolution because we need to take responsibility. And for many others, we are like kind of kids still. So they say that we need like two more cycles, um, which two more cycles for them is 26,000 years each. So more than 50,000 years. So um, there were like around 20, 20 beings that they were speaking to each other. And when some of them started to talk to me, I just broke into tears because I felt the responsibility and some guilty too. Basically, it was like kind of a meeting about the task that we have to, to do. So basically what they were saying um, some of them also, they didn't agree with us sharing some data, like more specific data, unless we really know how to handle it. Yeah, but um, some others said that in order to handle it, we need to prove, we need to, to try it and to make mistakes. So um, basically they, um, they were talking about that. Yep. But not regarding the whole humanity, but mainly about the network, the people that we are working all together right now doing this. Basically, the, the reason why I felt guilty and what I feel guilty um, is because I, I took part of the commissions in Sirius re regarding the, the topic for today, which is the star Sirius in the in the um, in the constellation of Canis Major, um, I, I was part of the commissions that in the moment when they spoke about the virus spreading in the system, we started to seed to to put the seeds in the different worlds, and um, kind of I was one of the people that point to the Earth for many others. 
And that's why I felt many times really guilty because even if many of the souls that came to live here, like you, were willing to do it, decided to do it, I always felt like kind of guilty for being the one that pointed. Kind of that was um, and is one of the um, of the weights that I've been carrying. So the, the reason why I felt like this anguish is because um, some of these beings, they say, uh, what you are doing is not enough, and it will take like two other cycles for them to be ready, for us to be ready, because now I am one of those who need two more cycles and living here is <laughs> like kind of heavy. Um, And of course that we have decided this and is our free will. But in such a way, um, being human makes you feel like you need to protect the family to 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 push the the herd. <laughs> and I don't know, somehow to defend. And with this that I'm saying, I don't want for you to think that these things are like kind of deciding over us or or trying to, I don't know, to judge what we are doing. Basically, I, 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 would, I would like for you to understand that they just have different cultures and they have different ways of, of voices. And sometimes what we perceive like they are angry, they are not angry. It's just their ways and their emotions. Basically, something else that they said is that um, it's important for us that in order to grow up, we have to be very responsible of this reality. And this is not... So we have to try to transcend this, this ideas of... Um, like the kindergarten teacher saying, oh, you're doing it great. I put you one star because you did a beautiful drawing. You're doing it great. No, they said, they said you have to grow up and to remember that this is not Disneyland. So basically, we have to grow up. And these things are here to remind us that we need to grow up like that. So this is related to what yesterday we were talking about, the Morpheus dream. Uh, Morpheus means shape, form in Greek, and Morpheus is the one that shaped the dreams of the people in the mythology. And one day, he just decided to show the truth in the dreams to the people. So people started to wake up, but they were so used to the dream that they started to leave the reality as if it were a dream. And uh, that's what we are doing still today. Opening our, our, our eyes, awakening from the dream, but even though we still live our reality, like if it is a dream, magic. And when you become aware, magic doesn't exist. You are responsible of what is magic. And the dream was created by, the magic is created by vibration. The vibration of the music of Orpheus. This vibration is the one that creates all our realities. But the thing is that sometimes we attach so much to the melody of that music 
that we are creating the network that we are creating that we don't want to to give it away like we attach to the music that we have done and that's the moment when you lose what you have done because you're not daring to to transform to change So the great test that we have to go through is to build something that is beautiful and to face the, the truth that it won't work, that maybe it just disappeared, vanished, is to learn to detach from expectations. So each one of you should know what you have to do. I'm not the one that must tell you what to do. So according to the topic for today, Sirius has been always in human history the one giving order to everything that we have come to do. They gave order to our civilization, to our way of understanding the universe. That's why they give us some clues and ideas of how to follow, what to follow. But we have to know exactly our way of doing it. And by the moment, my way is to share. One of the things that happened yesterday with the woman, the, the feminine aspect that was singing some 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 of you ask what is the name of the song but it is it was not the song it was someone speaking in the way of a song and um so she basically felt like the energy of the mother and uh, she basically said that for her we will always be the kids the children but that maybe that's what we had to that's what she also have to give away the image of being the mother of children so we can grow up and what i have to say is just that um each one of you will figure out what you have to do hmm. what is your own way and i say this because um not because i say i don't care you just do whatever <laughs> i say this because um if we are expecting for the others to do what we expect for them to do like like you expect for me to do something i expect for you to do something so we are not going to be able to to do what we have come to do for ourselves. That's why we are doing this path of the I am, is not to do something altogether, is to remember what we have come to do by ourselves. And that's the way to reconnect the network by connecting with the I am. So I invite you to make the questions to yourself not to me or to others. Make the questions to yourself. And in order, in order to refer to yourself, to put order, the question should not be like, what are you saying? It's much more to ask yourself, what am I listening? What am I hearing? It's not about to say, uh, I don't understand what you say. Or, yes, it's about what am I understanding? Because the way you listen to things and you perceive the things is the way in which you are receiving information. And this is what they used to say yesterday in the 
in the in the talk that they had that usually what we don't like to hear we consider that a judgment that's why we are not ready we are still making questions to the outside and not to the inside yesterday the the being that hold us all together named named himself itself like yahe and i have i have no idea about Jew, jewish tradition or the Hiva witnesses um so i just did what anyone in aquarius time would do i look for it in, in google <laughs> so yahe vavhe basically is a tetragrammaton which means four great letters so the name basically uh, <coughs> is a summary of four important letters that are the summary of four words that basically mean means uh, uh, a ye, a share, a ye, but I don't know some of the words I'm missing. That means the one that creates everything that is created, which is translated like I am who I am. So basically, it's nothing new. So basically, nothing new, but this being decided to use these four letters. Remember that what we are doing in this path is to get all things united. This is why usually we can relate to many different things, but they are all speaking about the same. So the, um, all the things that we are talking about are related to the star of Sirius. Sirius is basically the, the star that represents order for us, that put all the things together, that organize the being. And when you find the order, you find also freedom. The freedom is... The freedom is basically um, reached by the order. The vibration for today is Lia. The statement for today is I am the word of order. The code for today is Earth in the aspect of mineral. The second aspect of the terrestrial trinity is mineral which unifies the different aspects of expressions generated by magnetism pressure of gravity that forces them to combine creating different perspectives. For that, they are the, the direct product of the soul of the Earth, the result of their energies combined to generate colors, potentials, new energies and foundations of realities. I know that there are many things to talk about this, but I am not in the mood to speak them. Because I am not um, in this right potential to, to share, to, ex to explain. Um, I will I recall to the concept that we spoke yesterday, that we can find our own way to order because I still need to process yesterday the alignment was done in the middle of the conversation we set the intention we did everything in a different way of course but their chantings and their, their words were the ones trying to align us today um, Remember that Sirius is the star of our solar plexus, which is our own self. And um, so that's why we have to do it today on our own, 
to ask ourselves the questions of our own personality, of our own self within. And to refer to ourselves to look for the order. So I am not gonna guide the alignment today because I'm not I'm not able to do it. Hmm? So I'm not gonna guide, but I would put the music and and uh, each one of us we do the the process. So let's go to make ourselves responsible. Thank you. 
Thank you everybody for being there. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time.